Welcome to my apartment in the city. I sometimes cook for you in my apartment in the city. Sometimes I cook for you in the studio house in the outskirts of the city. Or um, when I mean several of the studios where I have live models posing for me through Tuesday nights, Saturdays, and now Sundays. I started loving art since I was a kid actually since I was since I, I loved art but I didn't understand how people would paint beautiful things like the thing also with with fashion is um I still remember when I was 13 years old and I first saw my first men's GQ magazine I couldn't understand how a fashion designer could even make a a jacket so you know the thing with me with 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 people creating beautiful paintings and people creating fashion and people creating architecture and um, everything that has to do with creating things um, furniture I love and I always have a passion for and I always wanted to do something in life and I definitely did not know that I was going to start painting in my 30s. I have actually started painting watercolors and a, a lot of illustrations since I was in my teens. And then in the 20s, I did on and off. I mostly did fashion. And now I'm so interested in, 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 in learning how to draw things like animals and people's faces and and now I'm kind of getting into bigger things and I think that um, better things will come and I wanted to share a video with you of of my apartment and the things that I love and um, this is just uh, some pottery that I collect from the Cusick family and I have beautiful pottery also from the 1900s I have a lot of things probably from the 18th century um, from the from the 1900 from the 1800 sorry and um, a lot of things from the 20th century and my collecting my collection of paintings started um, basically when I acquired my first my first fashion paintings from Eric and um, Edith Head and Rudy Gernrich back in the late 80s and my collection of um, lithographs and oils and acrylics dates back to the 1800s and today I just wanted to share with you Eva Belinsky this is a stunning oil and these are the kind of paintings that I actually have in my studio because I have so many that I have to you know put them in the basement I don't have any more space and um, I just guess wanted to share with you what I live in that fashion is not all that's in my head and what I collect um, I will soon be sharing with you some of my fashion paintings and illustrations that dates back to the 1900s and the love that I have for fashion and art will never cease and um, I'm also holding my Elizabeth Taylor in a, from my Death by Nature exhibition last year and it's a watercolor and it's Elizabeth Taylor um, with a giant bug and she's been eaten and I don't know if you can see that so thanks for being such a supporter of my YouTube and my MySpace and my Facebook and my personal website and any other website where you actually go and check all my stuff because um, I actually think that I do have an empire and that I have a lot to give for people to learn and I know that I have inspired people since I started designing clothes about 20 years ago and I guess this is a video tribute to all of the people who have been inspired by me and that this is not it the world will continue with or without me but my legacy will live forever